Hi everyone. I thought I'd do a quick overview video of getting started in Canvas for those of you that aren't able to come onto campus and want to get started with Canvas. So step one, open up a browser and go to the Sacramento City College homepage and click on Canvas. At this point, you get to what's called the dashboard for Canvas. And on the dashboard, you should see any of your courses that you're registered to teach. So if you're teaching several sections, um, they will all show up here and it'll have a, a pretty descriptive name to it. So you should be able to recognize which um, course card, as they call them, corresponds to which of your courses. Now, these courses are made for you automatically, but you may not have ever used them. And if not, you have to publish them before your students can see them. And I'll be showing you how to do that. Before we move into that, look over here on the left and there are some global navigation options. Things like uploading your picture, things like um, bringing you back to the dashboard. Let's say you're somewhere deeper in a course and you feel a little lost and you wanna get back to this dashboard, you can just hit that dashboard button and you'll come right back to this screen. Um, a global calendar, an inbox. This is a built-in email system that students can connect with you in Canvas. So you can see this number one here. This indicates that I have a student uh, email that has come in and I can click on there and check my email that way. You can also use your Outlook the way you're used to, but your students may be using this feature once you publish your course. So I wanted you to know it was there. The Commons you can ignore for now, and the Help button is actually really helpful. There's a 1-800 number, I believe it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week if I'm not mistaken, and um, from what I hear from my colleagues, they're very good at answering questions. It's not some robot, it's a real human that can answer your questions. So let's jump into one of your classes. So choose any one you want and click on the course card and open it up. <clears throat> You will see that our distance ed team, I think it was probably Brian Pogue, um, has auto-populated this page. They've put some templates in there so that if you haven't had a course um, that you've used before in Canvas, there's um, editable information here. And it'll say, type your name here and put your email and put your phone number and things like that. Do you see this pencil right at the top of that page? You can click edit and then edit this page just like you would a Word document. You can put links in, you can put pretty much anything that you want into this page and hit save and it will change this little home page for the course. Now you'll notice once I clicked that course card and it went to this particular course, a whole new menu appeared. And these are all the many tools that are available within this one course. Um, we won't be going over all the tools, but just know that they're there. They're things that you may want to dive into later. I only want to tell you about, um, well, let's see. I want to tell you about this homepage, which is editable. That's number one. The second thing I want to tell you about is announcements right here in this course level navigation. And the third thing is the modules. And those are the only things we're going to talk about in this brief introduction. So homepage, we're already there. Announcements. This is where you can post announcements to your students. Um, there's a couple of default ones put in here. If you'd like to edit those, you can. But let's create a new announcement briefly together. Let's say you want to say, Hi students, please do this for this particular week. And you want to type that verbiage in the little text editor. And then you hit save and it makes an announcement which if I click back on that home screen that home page that announcement will show up at the top of the home page not only will it show up at the top of that page it will also be emailed to all your students so that they know you've posted an announcement on this canvas page so that's the second tool I wanted you to know about the third and perhaps most important tool is the modules Modules are basically an outline of what you want the students to do. 
So my modules are weekly modules. I have week one, and then I'll post the tasks I want them to do for that week. My second module will be called week two, and I organize it that way. I've heard of other teachers doing it by chapter or by unit. However you'd like to organize your course, there's these plus a module, um, and you can add modules by using that plus a module. Now you'll notice that Brian Pogue, I'm giving him credit, I'm assuming it was him, has already put in a sample module. For example, it says, module one, title goes here. Oh, I used a, a tool without explaining it real quick. Let me back up. Do you see that tiny triangle next to module one? I can shrink or grow, expand, a particular module at any time. So sorry, I did that without explaining. Uh, if you click on the three dots next to module one, I can edit the title of that module. Maybe module one, what are we in? Week eight right now, right? Let's call it module one, week eight. And I'm gonna update the module and it will change the title of that module. And then under those modules, you're going to add what you want your students to do. So let's say you want your students to read um, a PDF that you've posted. I'll show you how to do that briefly. Let's say you want them to go to a link. Um, there's a way to add links here. There are discussion boards when you're ready to learn how to do those. There are exams or quizzes. There's lots of tools that you can add, as well as maybe just your Word documents or things that you want students to access. So right now, Brian has loaded some template items in here. So um, this is a header. It just says introduction. And then let's click on, right, it's not clickable. Let's click on where he has learning objectives and tasks. So again, because he's giving you a template, it just says, faculty, please delete the text between these parentheses and put in your own materials. You can simply click edit and then say, please begin by, here, let's do it. Let's delete this and say, please, oops, that's in red. Uh, you may want to put in your unit objectives and then you will say, students. Please view this video. And maybe you go to YouTube or TED Talks or whatever resource you're going to use. My daughter's been looking at contortionism videos. <laughs> um, and you can pick the link that you want them to view. Mm, let's just pick this one. Um, you can click on this share button and copy the link to that video. You can get the link wherever you get it and go to paste. And you've literally just pasted the link to that video. It even shows them a little preview window. And so then you'll move, you know, along the page, telling your students what you'd like them to do and go and see. And then you hit save. And I'm going to hit cancel because I don't really want to edit this template, but uh, you would hit save. And now when your student clicks on that item, they will know exactly what you would like them to do for that week. And then you can click next and it will take you to the next item that Brian has preloaded into this module. Now, if you want to upload your own materials within the module, you don't want to edit Brian's, you want to upload your own, then do you see the little plus right here next to module one, week eight? You click that plus and you could say, I would like to add a file. I'd like to add a new file. I'd like to choose it from my computer. I'm gonna choose the item that I'd like to upload. I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna add an item. And what it does is it pulls it from your computer and it adds it to the end of this module. You can then take that item and drag it up or down. You can uh, delete it if you've decided, whoops, I didn't mean to upload that one. You can hit the three dots and remove it. Um, one other thing I should mention is the green check marks. Do you see those? 
The green check marks indicate items that students can see. They're published items. If you want to unpublish something, you can just click the green check mark and it becomes invisible to students. Only teachers will be able to see it. Well, only you within that course. So there's a lot to learn under modules. If you go to Google and type Canvas modules, you will pull up Canvas guides, YouTube videos, all kinds of resources on what you can do with the modules. But this was kind of a quick overview. Let's go back to the home page one last time. And just as a reminder, until you hit this word publish on the home page, students cannot see anything. As soon as you hit publish, they will get an invitation to join your class. Uh, and it will go, I believe, to their student email, their Los Rios Gmail account. And they'll click on that link and have access to everything you've loaded into this course. I hope this was a helpful, quick overview. Um, remember, this is temporary. We're just doing the best we can to get through this crisis. And there's so much to learn for the future. All right. Enjoy, you guys. Bye.